the tricky logic question. Uh, there are two we're going to answer right here, and they both are based on this code right here. So let's read through it. It says, in the code below, there are a couple of things happening. One, each letter always represents the same word. Okay, so once you know what a letter represents, here are the letters, once you know it represents one word, it always has to represent that word. And then two, we're told each word is represented by only one letter. So these are the words, this train crosses seven states, this train crosses five states, this train crosses five countries. Those words, um, they can only be represented by only one, by one letter. So if, if train was represented by W, then that's the letter for train. And then lastly, in any given sentence, the position of a letter is never the same as the word it represents. That's going to be a helpful bit of information right there. So um, this means that the letter M can't represent this. So that those two are not a match. Q, oops, Q cannot represent train. So we know that. And we can keep going. T cannot represent crosses. N cannot represent seven. And I'll use this over here, this area. W cannot represent states. N, and then here we have another row. So now we know N can't be seven. It also can't be this. Okay, or this. And let's look at the last one, or crosses. It can't be any of those words. I'm looking there, here, oops, and here. Q can't be train, crosses, or five. Train, crosses, or five. Okay. T can't be crosses, but, ooh, that's interesting. It could be anything else. And M can't be this, five, or five. This, or five. And W can't be states or this. All right, what do, we, what do we want to know? Which letter represents the word states? So here are choices, X, N, Q, W, M. Well, let's look. We already know that N, no, I'm sorry. We already know that W cannot represent states. So W is out. Now, we have to break this code a little bit further. Notice that N appears in all of the sentences, and so does, I think, Q, and so does W. Then we should notice what words actually appear in every sentence. Well, this appears every time. All right. And what else? Crosses appears every time. And <clears throat> I think that's it, those two. So... That's going to help us. If M, if Q, N, and W all appear three times, and those words each appear three times, <clears throat> those letters must somehow represent those two words. So we know that um, Q cannot represent crosses because they appear together. So now only N or W can represent crosses, but N can't be crosses because they're next to each other right there. So W is the letter that represents crosses. So that's going to help us. W equals crosses. That's what that letter means. So now we know what crosses is represented by. We're done with that word. And what other words appear three times? We have train appearing three times, but notice Q is next to train right here. So now that means the only letter left that appears three times, which is N, has to represent the, the word train. So train, we're done with that one, because N represents train. The only other uh, word that appears three times is the word this, 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 this. And Q is never by it. And notice N is right by it over here. So N couldn't be it anyway. But Q is that word. So Q represents the word this. And we're almost done. And we're trying to find which letter represents the word states. So W didn't work. N does not work. And Q does not work. So it has to be either X or M. And um, we should look and see how many times the word states appears. So it appears once and twice. So what letter 
also appears exactly twice. Is it X or M? Let's look at this. I think X only appears here and in this sentence. So it does appear twice, and, um, and, and M appears twice. So it's, it's, it's hard to tell right now. But maybe there's something else that gives it away, because I'm not sure if X could represent uh, a word from a sentence above it. I don't know if that matters or if that helps. Um, anyway, so I, I, I'm thinking that it has to be M, and I, I, the reason is is because X can't represent the word countries, right? M cannot represent the word five. And the word the word seven, I'm sorry, the only letter left up here, we know what W is, we know what N is, we know what Q is, is is T and M. Well, the only two the only words left, the only words left in the sentence are seven and states. I'm sorry. So if states and seven are the only words left in this sentence, and the only letters left are M and T. Well, T T does not appear again at all in this sequence. Hold on, let me take a break. <laughs> I need one second. Okay, sorry about that. So T is, is only appearing here in this sentence, and the word 7 only appears once, so T has to match that word 7. So T represents the word 7, and M has to represent the word states, the only word left in the sentence that has not been represented, and there you can see it again, M and states are popping up. So M represents the, the word states. Oops. Which word is represented by the letter W? So I, I said here W is represented by, by crosses, right? And we already concluded why. We said earlier that it can't be states, it can't be this, and the only other option was crosses. So we're going to answer that earlier in the video. You might want to scroll back to see how we concluded that. And I, this, I think, I feel like this kind of a problem right here is just about as difficult as a, a logical question will get on the SHSAT. So I hope I didn't muddle my way through it too much for you, uh, but I wanted to solve it and speak my way through it as I would think about it uh, for the first time if I saw this problem. All right, hope that helped.